Hi, Laura here again from Business Academy Online. And in this video, we're going through Porter's Five Forces. So Porter's Five Forces is a micro industry analysis tool. So it's looking at the level of competition within a market. Unlike Steeple, this is micro, not macro. And the five forces are threat of new entrants, threat of substitutes, supplier power, buyer power, and competitive rivalry. So we're going to drill into each one of these forces in this video. The point of this model is to look at the level of competition in the market and to look at your level of risk. So if you are in a risky position with lots of competitors, you may need to choose different strategies than you're currently taking. So it helps you strategize and maximize your power and position within that market. So let's look at threat of new entrants. Threat of new entrants is essentially how likely it is that another organization can start up and start to take some of your competitors. The more barriers to entry there are, such as brand loyalty or reputation or size, the harder it is for a company to get a foothold in that market. It's looking at how much it would cost for someone to start up and how tightly that sector is regulated. Obviously, the easier it is for someone to set up in your market, the riskier your position is. Threat of substitutes. Threat of substitutes is how likely are customers to find something to replace your product. Is there a cost to change? So is that a direct cost or indirect cost like Apple, where everything's integrated and we feel like it's too much effort to move from it? Is there a direct or indirect substitution? Does another good do exactly what yours does? All of these create huge amount of risk for an organization because customers can just go elsewhere. Supplier power. Supplier power is how much does a supplier value your business? And the amount of power a supplier has against you would depend on the number of suppliers out there in the market, the fewer that they are, the more strength they have, the size of those suppliers, the larger they are, the more power they have, whether they're providing a uniqueness of service. So if it's very unique, it can be very difficult for us to go elsewhere and our ability therefore to substitute. And obviously we don't want this to be too high. Buyer power. When we're talking about buyer power, we're talking about consumers and how easy it is for these buyers, our customers, to negotiate with us. So we're looking at the number of customers that we have. Obviously, if we've got one very large customer with a huge size of order, then they'll have a lot of power over us. We're looking at differences between us and our competitors, and how price sensitive the market is, whether if we put our prices up, our customers could go elsewhere. And the fifth and final force is competitive rivalry. Competitive rivalry is looking at how many organizations are competing in the same market doing the same things as us. So the number of competitors out there, if there's any quality differences between us and our competitors, if there's switching costs or perceived switching costs for our customers, if it's going to cost them, then they're more likely to stay with us. Do we invoke customer loyalty? Do people come back? And is it going to cost us a lot to leave this market? Have we got a lot of capital assets? Remember, any Porter's Five Forces analysis is just a snapshot at that point in time. It cannot be relied upon for months and months or years and years afterwards. So it is only at that point. We hope you found this useful. Please subscribe, check out our courses on our website and check back to see other model videos soon. Thanks for listening.